Hey there, folks. So, um, uh, yeah, here's my latest score. If you guys follow me on uh, Instagram, I was posting uh, pictures of it. Um, and if you saw my last video, I also did a video explaining how, uh, you know, I got notified by, uh, by Alan Elishowitz uh, regarding the knife availabilities. You know, he only makes so many knives during the year. And um, the first time actually I saw one of his knives was in the... Um, I believe it was the uh, New York Custom Knife Show. Um, and he held like a lottery. And, um, you know, he only brought like, I think about, I, won't, I don't even think it was about 10, but uh, he brought a small amount of knives. I didn't hit the lottery. Um, actually, that's the one where um, Rick Hinderer in, at X in the East Coast Custom Knife Show, he hit the lottery and got to purchase one of his knives. But um, so I signed up at his website and. Um, you know, sign up for email notifications when blades, when knives are available. And the other day, I got an email, and um, <laughs> and it went fast. I, I called up, which was the wrong thing to do. You're supposed to shoot him an email. I shot him an email, and uh, Valerie Alishowitz finally called me back, and uh, there was only like two left. So uh, this was actually my second choice anyway. Um, so I was very happy to get it. Uh, this one is the um, Mini Hide Flipper. Um, now, I've never held the regular size high flipper, so Valerie told me that this is actually new, uh, newly made. Uh, he hasn't made a mini version, but this is a pretty good size. I mean, it's not, I thought it was gonna be smaller, but it's actually not too bad, not too bad. It's, um, it's a three and a half inch blade. The handle is 4.25, all right? As you can see, the steel is uh, Chad Nickel, Chad Nickel stainless steel Damascus. Let's see, if you can get close up on it. Look at the crazy patterns on it. Hope the camera's capturing that. All right. Um, it's got platinum bolster. Platinum. What am I saying? <laughs> titanium bolsters. Titanium bolsters. <laughs> Wish it was platinum. Uh, it's a liner lock which is also um, titanium. And the handle material is what um, Alan calls um, M3, M3 composite, M3 composite. Uh, it's M3, which stands for macro molecular materials. It's basically like a designer, um, designer material, designer metal, right? If you go to his website, he goes into detail and explains the process. Basically, what they do is they take uh, high purity metals and other exotic elements. So I don't know what the exotic elements are, but if you look at this blade, I mean blade, this handle, you might see there's like um, specks in there that that shine. I don't know if they'll capture it, but uh, it's a lot easier to see, you know behind the viewfinder, but there's like little specks in there. Um, basically, they take these metals and these exotic elements and they uh, deconstruct them. Uh, and when once deconstructed, they, they combine them and put it back together and they come up with this designer material, which is this. So, you know, if you go to his website, he has different colors. Um, yeah. So uh, he's got this uh, bead blast uh, pocket clip, which is uh, steel. It's not. Uh, it's stainless steel. It's not. Uh, it's not titanium. But um, you know, Alan makes all the knives himself. He doesn't send it out to be CNC'd. Um, you know, he doesn't use outside vendors, you know, to uh, to do any of the work. To me. Like, he does it all by himself. Um, uh, I mean, he does it by hand, but he does utilize um, machines, like manual machines. So, uh, you know, he grinds the blade himself. He grinds the shape of the handles and the bolsters himself. So, uh, yeah. And, and you can see in some of the... Let me see if I can... I know I spotted something. If I if I do as I go through the video, maybe I'll spot it again. 
Oh yeah, right here. And I hope this captures it. If you look right here, see that little, you know, there's like a little piece of metal there. That's a little piece of a titanium that's a little bit off. So, you know, that's indicative of being handmade by Alan, which is nice. Again, I, I love, I love little imperfections on my, um, knives because it's like it's like a signature for them you know that's how i know it's my knife so so yeah lots of detailing lots of detailing i mean he has this gold uh logo that's inlaid hope i'm not getting too close on it it's inlaid in the blade it's alan's logo closer right the pivot look at the pivot uh, all made by Alan all right just just beautiful beautiful craftsmanship down to here all right just gorgeous the titanium it's very similar to the crack ice the liner if you look at the liner I hope it captures it it's very similar to the crack ice on the bodega. Do you see it? There's like a pattern to it or like a, almost like an orange peel. You know, I hope you guys can see. I hope it captures it. I hope it's not too dark. Uh, on this side, maybe it's better. You can see it better. You guys see that? It's just beautiful. Beautiful. Um, He's got standoffs, and if you look at the standoffs, they're not like, uh, they're definitely very unique. You look at the shape of them, you know, he makes this all himself. Just beautiful. He probably doesn't even need four standoffs, but it's more like uh, for our artistic... Uh, um, Expression, I would think. I would think. Just uh, very nice. Just very nice. Uh, it's not IKBS. I, it's washer system. I'm not sure if it's bronze or it might be Teflon. I was just looking through it under the light. And I don't know if this will capture it. And... It looked like it was white, so it might be Teflon washers. Can you see that over there? See it? I gotta call Valerie. I gotta make sure if it's bronze washers or if it's Teflon washers. But uh, but um, what impressed me the most when I first uh, held one of his knives at the show is how smooth it flips. I mean, when when Valerie told me, because I didn't get to talk to Alan, but when Valerie told me that it was a washer system, that IKBS, I was, I was shocked. I couldn't believe that something that's a washer will flip out so nice, so smooth. Very smooth. You know, it, may, it makes me a believer in washer systems, you know. I always thought that in order for a flipper to flip out this nice, it has to be, it has to have IKBS or a... Or a bearing system, you know, some kind of a bearing system. But uh, yeah, it's just, it's just perfect, beautiful. Very impressed with it. Very impressed. <laughs> I actually contacted uh, Chad Nichols to find out because this is my first uh, um, Chad Nichols Damascus steel, and uh, asked him what's the best way to maintain it. Basically, just uh, oil it every now and then, you know, except when you're cutting meat or something with high acid like fruit to clean it really well so it won't rust. So, basically, I just to oil it every now and then. That was funny because I emailed them and Chad answered. Is that how cool is that? You know, that's something to say about these uh, knife makers and steel makers how they, they answer every email, like Rob Orlando answers every email. Just It's just dedication. Um. Yeah, did I forget anything?
Oh, let's do a size comparison. So, so this is the mini high flipper. I'm gonna break out my uh, newest one. This is the um, the Curtis uh, F3. So that's a good size. It's about the same actually. If you guys can see it. So if you guys got the that's a three and a half inch. So actually, yeah, yeah, it's about the same size. Uh, I know the steel looks uh, almost like a Tonto, but it's actually a, um, a Warncliffe. So, it's a two-tone steel too, I don't know if I mentioned that. So it's a high po it's like a high polish up top, and then I don't know how he does this. Uh, you know, it's like a little bit darker. I don't know if the video will copy that, but it's, uh, it's two-tone steel. Which kind of matches the uh, the pocket clip, same color as the pocket clip. Maybe my background won't show that. Yeah. So um, yeah. So Alan and uh, Valerie will be at the show. So I'm sure they'll have other knives at the show, but they'll probably be for a uh, lottery. So so I just want to share that with you guys. Um, yeah, very nice. Alright guys, peace.